if you're in Australia or good evening if you're in the UK or <coughs> something between the two if you're somewhere else in the world. Uh, now, in the first uh, ultrasound webinar I did, <coughs> I did a very much abbreviated version of what I teach um, to, to vets in practice <coughs> on basically covering the physics, uh, the overview of ultrasound, and also um, then getting a, getting a basic image. Now, normally I would move on and do a full abdominal examination with the, with the vets I was working with, but it's not really practical in this sense. So what I thought I'd do um, today is do something which I call seven tips to ultrasound um, technique, improving it. And this is sort of kind of a little bit of um, what I've learned over the years that I've been doing ultrasound. So what um, now is uh, these things, learning fine motor control, examining an organ fully in three views with margins and being thorough. Now those three all sort of come um, combined together to form you know, part of your technique and why you need to um, do these things to, um, to be a good ultrasonographer. Then we'll cover <coughs> the stomach, which is uh, anybody who does ultrasound will know can be quite challenging at times, getting better views of that. Then we'll um, just quick briefly go of FNA che checklist. And then the two things at the end, finding those elusive adrenal glands, which is something everybody wants to do. It seems to be um, top of the list when in fact it's not the easiest things to do. And then we'll cover up examining, <coughs> excuse me, examining the liver. And is it really that easy? Um, so tip one, fine motor control. This is really paramount to you being a, a good ultrasonographer, These, because many of the structures you actually look at can be less than five millimeters in, in width or um, diameter, and some can easily be less than one millimeter. And I'm thinking there particularly the, the common bile duct, the gallbladder wall, <coughs> adrenals typically are about a half a, half a centimeter, then finding the duodenal papilla, and then finding um, the proximal ureter, which as you can see from the picture below there, um, there's a little ure, um, ureter lift there, and that's the ureter getting that. Now that, getting that picture is not easy, and once you've got it, it's staying on it is not easy either. Learning fine motor control is imperative to, to forming a good examination and locate these structures. And <coughs> I find following the aorta is good practice for your fine motor control. So how do you do this? This is what I do, the first thing I do, and I do every examination, um, because um, doing ultrasound is a bit like writing or learning a musical instrument. Um, you need to have practice and practice to do it, but also it's, it's a good start. It's like a, a musician having a little warm up. And for me, it just gets my hand in and mind and body in tune and, and with what I'm trying to do. So in, in the lateral recumbency, in that photograph, <clears throat> You've got the head at the front and the back at the right, and that probe is in dorsal recumbency right at the top, um, dorsal caudal view, and you're looking to get this view. Now, it is easy in most cases to find part of the aorta, but to actually get it, the probe aligned up like that it takes a little bit of skill and practice and time sometimes. Um, <coughs> excuse me, it's, <coughs> it's a bit early in the morning here. Um, so um, that's what you're aiming to get, and that's what you should set your store to get. So that's uh, diagrammatically representing what you're doing, is you're trying to get the probe, and I've um, put it up as a linear probe there, and that's your aorta, and you're looking to get it all straight along that line there. If you do, looking at the bottom picture, you get it right in the middle and straight, you'll get a picture like that one on the left hand side with a black bar right across the screen. Now if you're off center, coming down either side here, not only will obviously the aorta get narrower, but you're going to get slice thickness artifacts coming through here. So you'll start to get echogenicity in the aorta. So that, this is the um, way to actually determine what you're doing, what you're actually seeing on the screen when the, the aorta doesn't look too clear. So that's what you're aiming to do, um, right dead center. Obviously, if you're not quite aligned on the, um, on the aorta, you perhaps will get the picture of the back, back of the probe, uh, with the back of the aorta on the right hand side of the screen, but you'll lose it on the left. Now what you've got to do then is hold the back of the probe and then move the front of the probe onto the aorta there. So you end up with that straight line right across the screen. If you got it at an